Two hundreds, ten tens, yeah. and fifty-nine ones. What's the value of ten tens? Yeah. One hundred. Gage, you know what? You just grew a couple branches in that brain of yours, didn't you? Is your brain sore? Yeah, you can see them growing, right? Oh, yeah. Like this one? Yeah. I'm Rachel Ross Manley, and we're in a grade three classroom at Central Spryfield Elementary School. I'm Janan Lonis, and I'm a math support teacher. So we're going to move into our problem for today. So today the learners were working on representing three-digit numbers and also showing different representations that are not conventional and also discussing the place value of the digits within the number. What's the value of the small cubes that you have there? I've been here for about a six-week block and so our job is to work with small groups of kids and try to vertically accelerate them to grade level and fill in the gaps. Of their, of their math understanding. Jenny Ann's been working with us. It's been really important. She's been doing some small group work with some learners, but also has been in the classroom. And we do a lot of co-planning, um, some co-teaching. Um, often within the lesson, we get a chance to kind of debrief with each other and make decisions on where we need to go next based on what we are seeing the learners do. Um, afterwards, we're constantly in discussion about you know what was working, what do we have to improve on so that students can ultimately um, improve their achievement with whatever outcomes we were working on during the lesson. Do you remember that fancy math word? Do you agree with that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, and it's the same it's value. value. Expression, right? You did an expression. Um, we've seen great improvements here at Central. Not only have we seen them move terms and move grade levels, but just the um, passion for mathematics is what we're really uh, going for as well with math support. So. That you can like build different numbers and like stack them and stuff. Is it fun? Yeah. Making numbers and breaking them into parts. How do you feel when, you, when you're successful? Proud of myself. You're proud of yourself? And happy. And happy when you work hard and you make mistakes. And even when you make mistakes, your brain grows. That's how our brain grows, right? We make mistakes, what do we do? We try again. We try again. Um, another important job is for me to work with the classroom teacher to have kids transfer the knowledge that we do in small groups to the classroom so that it's not seen as, as an isolated event so that what they do with me is different than what they do with their classroom teacher. We want it to be all the same. And I think the way that you know math is delivered off obviously touches on many different learning styles so the fact that they were able to use you know tools and have that kinesthetic but then they could go back and put it into print the opportunity for conversation I think all of that increases the engagement of the class because everybody can see a talent and access that talent throughout a lesson. If something's not relevant to our learner if it's not relatable to their own experiences their own lives then they're not going to internalize it so anything that we can do to make it um, part of their lived experience is what we're trying to do and bring that into the classroom as well. Definitely. I think any time that we have an opportunity to work with um, support professionals, you're always sort of reflecting more and um, having that conversation with another individual stretches your thinking, so um, certainly that's made a difference. And the fact that she is with the students, we can kind of compare things, so sometimes she'll pick up things I might have missed and we get a chance to kind of um, grapple with that and, you know, problem solve when we need to or, you know, move on when we're ready to move on. That drives our instruction. So so if we see an area where the kids are struggling, then we need to adjust our teaching so that, you know, that we can meet their needs. So having another individual who supports that, that process is, is, is important to my professional growth and stretches me as an as a educator. 94, 92, 99. Just, we've seen great gains and if we can get in and fill those, those gaps, we won't have the results later in school that we're that we're seeing sometimes if kids get too far behind. What is that called? Types of small Do you know what that is called? Um, you did partition it into two parts. Good for you. What else is that called? Do you think you could represent 359 in a different way?